can see zero codes. That's all it was. The shutoff valve was closed. City just serviced it and then uh, this issue popped up. He shut the fuel off and forgot about it. So we're out here. We're gonna get to that tractor way out there. But as you can see, this field's wet. So this customer seems to think that my 22,000 pound truck is gonna be just fine. So we're gonna take the sides and if I start to get stuck, he's gonna have to wait. Oh, here we go. No, not gonna work. Well, good news, I made it. Kind of screwed this field up, but I think uh, I know what they're doing. Ripping, so. Made it out here, no problem. Kinda no problem. I love this thing, it's kinda won't. Knock on wood, never got it stuck yet. Um, I thought I was going to be able to start this thing and uh, pull myself out if I needed to. I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, let me show you why. On. See if he'll start. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I mean, even if you weren't that decent if you, of a mechanic, you should know what's wrong with this thing. You know what it's doing. It's blowing white smoke. It's knocking. I unplugged that, trying to get it to uh, default and start. But that's fuel. Coming out of uh, cylinder number five. So if you look... That's also fuel coming straight out of the turbo down the exhaust. So, uh, he's got an injector that's stuck open, blew the tips off of it, whatever he did. But unfortunately, the store's closed now because of the holiday. So, he's gonna have to wait till next year. All right. Done diagnosing that thing. Customer said he's gonna fix it. Makes my job easier. Now let's get out of here. Diff lock's on. Let's go. The key is to just bury it to the floor. Got 
are just buried. 15 miles an hour. Look at that. Not bad. My old 550 would have gotten stuck about 10 feet into it. Got it. Never doubt her for a second. 